Today's live IELTS class. I hope everybody has had a great week and is looking forward to a fantastic weekend. In this class, we are looking at speaking part two, the cue card, the long response. This is a members chat class. Of course, everybody is welcome to watch. Members can chat. To become a member of the channel, click the join button beside the subscribe button. If you don't see that button, send me an email and I'll help you out. My email is adrian, A-D-R-I-A-N, at aehelp.com. Hi, Amira. I see one of our members has already joined in. While we wait for a few more members to uh, come into the lesson, a little bit about us. These lessons, these strategies, materials, they come from our websites, aehelp.com, for academic IELTS. Check us out there. And if you are studying for the general version of the test, please check us out at gieltshelp.com. That's generaliltshelp.com. Uh, both of those websites, we have loads of materials to help you improve your English, your communication, get better band scores. This is the academic version of our website. Click that big red button to join our premium package there. And this is the general version of our website. Click that big red button to join the premium package there. Hi, Pavan. Hi, Ferdavs. Hi, Vishal. Good to see more members coming in on the lesson. Uh, students, we do have apps as well. Uh, the apps are Academic IELTS Help and General IELTS Help. You can get those from your app stores, um, Google Play, Apple Apps. Uh, and you can link the apps to the web account. So you're learning from the same account. 100 hours of video lessons, six original practice tests. We're adding four more this year, so we'll have 10 original practice exams. We're updating all of our practice exams this year as well to reflect the changes in the listening section of the IELTS. There's just a couple of small changes in the instructions, nothing to worry about. And you'll see those on our websites as well. Uh, students, you can get our exam books from Amazon. Uh, look for AE Helps Academic IELTS and GE Helps General IELTS. So you can order the paper uh, back or the electronic versions of our exams. Um, so right now, we'll do speaking part two. This will be followed by task two. We'll finish the essay that we started yesterday. And then tomorrow, members, we will have a Q&A session. So we'll have a question and answer class, so uh, bring some questions to the class. If you're curious about it, I'm sure other uh, students will be as well, and then we'll finish the week up with some speaking part three. Hi, Yekstan, hi, Preeti, hi, Roshni, hi, Shanghun. Good to see more people um, coming into the class. Yekstan has a question. Yekstan says, sir, should we prepare all cue cards or just prepare about talking about a person, place, and so on. Um, Yextan, yeah, don't, so you should practice, of course, as much as you can. Uh, importantly, uh, you have to make sure that you focus on talking about a person, place, object, event, and an idea. So you want to make sure, Yextan, that you balance your practice talking about all five of those because they each have unique criteria to talk effectively about them. So as we've talked before, when you're um, explaining about a person, you have to quickly describe what they look like, and then you have to discuss their personality, backed up by their actions, and then focus on what they do. So that's the person, and then object, it's different, and so on. So you need to practice talking about all five of those different uh, topics, right? That's, that's the right idea. Okay, and when then within that, just choose different ones. Uh, we will have a new book coming out this year with 50 different uh, speaking interview uh, sessions. So there'll be lots there for you to practice. Okay, students, here we go. Uh, part two, let's get into it. Uh, this is a speaking class, so I highly, highly encourage all of our viewers and of course our members to speak during this class, nice and loud, uh, repeat what I say, 
read aloud your own comments, the comments of your peers, your classmates, and repeat them, okay? All right, everyone. Here we go. So I'm kind of uh, focusing on uh, environmental topics this week, as you'll notice. Yesterday, we talked about... Uh, renewable energy sources for task one, task two, and uh, staying in line with this very pertinent topic of our times. It's, there's a very, very good chance, students, uh, that you might see these kinds of topics um, in your IELTS exams about the environment, about pollution. Uh, they're very hot topics around the world. And the IELTS exam does try to bring attention uh, to important topics in the world beyond just being an exam. So here we go. Let's look at the card. Okay. You get your card. You've done your part one in your speaking. Um, the examiner will say that's the end of part one. Now we will continue with part two for part two. Here is a card with some questions on it. You will have one minute to think about your answers. Take notes in the one minute. If you wish, here's some paper and a pencil. And then you will have two minutes to speak. I will tell you when to start, when to stop. Uh, students, make sure that you wait uh, for the examiner to start and stop you. Sometimes I have students who actually will tell me like, I'm finished or that's all, or can I start now? Okay, so just let the examiner control that. Okay, so make sure to let the examiner control the timing of part two, okay? Uh, do not tell them that you are ready to go or that you are finished, okay? Sometimes I have students, when they get the one minute to prepare, about 30 seconds after, they're like, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. And I'm just kind of like, uh, oh, you have a minute and it's, you have to wait the one minute. It's the standard, so, and you should use the one minute always, okay? So don't try to start early. Use the full minute to your advantage, okay? I'll even write that down. So do not try to start your response early. Use the full one minute time to your advantage. There's always more that you can think of, no matter how good you are in English or communication or who you are, you can be the best English communicator in the world. If I sat the exam tomorrow, students, I promise you, I would use my full minute to the fullest, okay? All right, um, so let the examiner control the time. Use as much of the time as you can. So step number one, what do we do? Members, uh, I've talked about this a few times in the past couple of weeks. What should always be your first step when you turn over that cue card? It's really important. Okay, what is that? What is your step number one? And I highly, highly recommend that you take this step very, very seriously. So Awaz says, read the question carefully two times. Yeah, Awaz, that's right, um, especially the topic statement, okay? So read the question carefully and the topic statement which of course introduces the topic and the controlling idea uh, twice. Okay, so let's do that now. Uh, part two, talk about an idea you had to protect the environment. Read that again. Talk about an idea you had to protect the environment. And one other step that you can even take really quickly is take the key element, protect the environment, and say it in another way, so paraphrase this. What's a, another way to say protect the environment? Can you paraphrase this for me, please, members? How can I say that in a different way? Protect the environment. Hi, Carissa. You don't have to write down any words yet, Carissa. So we read the question carefully, and we read this part here, we read that one, two times, okay, this topic statement. And it's even a good idea to paraphrase this element here. Okay, so Sheng Hung says, save the environment. So here you can use the word save. K 
Okay, that's one way. There are other ways. What's another way to say environment? There's another way to say environment as well, students. Um, clean is another good way to say this here. Clean or clean up. Okay. Uh, nature, yeah, is a good way to paraphrase that. So these are key words that you're going to be using often in your uh, two-minute response time. So it's really good to paraphrase so that you can show your lexical resource, okay? So when you're paraphrasing the question, and you can do that in your mind or you can quickly write it down on the note paper, um, they're very good, Shang Hung. So another way to say this is surroundings. Okay, we call the environment surroundings, nature, mother nature, uh, planet. Okay, uh, another way is descriptive paraphrasing, plants and animals. Okay, so that's another way uh, that you can say it. Save protect, uh, clean up, and a nice word that you could use instead of protect is also restore. Okay, restore means to uh, bring it back to its original uh, form. Landscape, awaz, is a good word to think of here as well. Okay, so very nice. So that's what you want to do. This is a very, very important sentence. This is the most important sentence on the card. So you want to be extra, extra careful with that opening statement. Is that clear? Yeah, for Dobbs, reverse the damage. Yeah, it's a good one as well. Okay. Is that clear, members, that uh, you really, really need to pay attention to that first statement, even paraphrase it in your mind, write down some keywords on your note paper? And of course, by doing that, you will be thinking more deeply uh, about the topic as well. You'll think more globally, more dynamically about the topic, right? So, all right. Um, so it's an idea that you had. What is the idea? Why and when did you think of this? What do or did you need to make this idea a reality? How will your action help to protect nature. And there you go, there's that word nature. So how will your actions help to protect nature? All right, so we read the card carefully. Uh, now what do we do? Okay, so this is happening quickly. This should only take you about 10 seconds, 15 seconds in the one minute time. So you've read the question carefully, uh, especially the topic statement. You've read it twice, uh, paraphrased the key words in the question. Okay, and then your step number two, what do you do? So Shang Hung says, identify the topic here, sure. Which is nature, identify the controlling idea which is an idea that you had to protect nature. Okay, now you're 100% confident that you're going to be talking about the right ideas. Okay. And Roshni says, uh, think about an idea which is easy and unique to talk about. Okay, so that's your next step. Sure. Step three, think of two to three possible answers that are easy to talk about and unique. All right, so uh, let's do that together. Um, what are some ideas? And maybe you had these ideas, maybe you have had a chance to think about how you can help to save nature. Maybe you haven't. Maybe it's not your cup of tea and you've never really uh, done much about that. Um, but uh, you have to answer. There's no saying, oh, I'd never done this before, so I'm just going to uh, 
ignore this question. You have to talk about it. So you have to use your visualization, your creativity. You have to um, try to remember what you see on TV or in the news about people trying to save nature. Okay. Um, so give me some ideas. What are some ideas that help to um, save nature? Roshni says, bring back Kaveri River. I'm not sure what that means, Roshni. Awaz says, recycle plastic items. Okay, that's something in your personal life that's probably a little bit... Um, um, of a narrow idea it was, but going from that idea, uh, we can say establish a plastic recycling center in my community. Okay, so that could be an idea, right? Establish a plastic recycling center in my community. Sure. Okay. Uh, for Dobbs, it says ban all cars. Um, start a petition to ban cars uh, in the city. All right. So sometimes, students, for Dobbs and Awaz, you start with an idea like um, recycling plastic. Okay. And then what you want to do, or uh, ban cars, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to build a little bit on that idea. So sometimes the first idea for a question like this, it's a little bit simple, but it's a great starting point, okay? It's a good point to begin thinking and planning a little bit more so that you have a much better answer. So when I think of, okay, plastic recycling, so, what is it? Why is it? How is it? I see that a lot of people are throwing plastics into the garbage uh, in my community, in the trash cans on the street. Uh, they're um, not being recycled. Why? Well, maybe there's no plastic recycling in my neighborhood, in my area. So I build out the rest of the idea. Okay. And these are original for me too, students. So I'm using what you're suggesting and I'm building on it. I've never actually thought about this. Thankfully, in Canada, we have really good recycling. Um, petition, I'm not sure if anybody knows what that means. Anybody know what the, me, the word petition means? Petition is when you uh, have a piece of paper and you collect the signatures of people who support your idea, okay? So, a community movement. Okay, so a petition is to um, build community movement, usually by getting the signatures and names of people around you or in your area or wherever that support your idea. Okay. All right, Shang Hung, that's very nice. So Shang Hung says, uh, clean up the beach. Okay. Did you say twice a week or once in a month? Okay. Sure. That's a good one, right? So Shang Hung's going, okay, cleaning up the beach. All right, let's take it one step further. Cleaning up the beach once a month, organizing a group of people. Uh, Preeti says planting, uh, planting what, Preeti? Planting trees. Okay. Amira says, um, Community gardens producing organic food. Okay, those are all great. All right, students, some really good ideas there. We can stop there. Planting trees would be, again, some a good starting point. You want to take it one step further, like planting trees in Central Park or around schools or something like that, okay? 
Um, carpooling, that's a really clever one, Vishal. So Vishal says carpooling, okay? So uh, here we go, one more. Vishal has such a good idea, we'll add it in there and I'll add a little bit to it. Um, create a carpool app for the community. Okay, so creating a carpool app. All right, so we have lots of great ideas now. Um, establishing a plastic recycling center, that's one. Um, start a petition to ban cars, that's two. Uh, organize a cleanup party for the local beach twice a month. Um, that's three community garden to produce organic food Four. these are all brilliant ideas, by the way, uh, create a carpool app, um, for the community that's make that five. So those are five great ideas. Think unique, think the one that you can speak about easily. All right, students, um, let's take a vote. Members, one, two, three, four, or five. Let's vote on this. So, Carissa says, start a petition to stop the oil rig in Alberta. Yeah, okay, sure, that would work too, Carissa. Absolutely. Okay, uh, Ferdov says four. Roshni says three. Keep voting, students. So just whatever one you think is unique and easy to talk about. So we have three different votes so far by three students. Tied for one and three so far. Don't overthink it. So definitely consider easy and unique, but don't overthink it. All right. Yeah, I think establishing a plastic recycling center in the uh, community is probably a pretty good one. Okay, it's one that you can likely talk about easily and quickly for two minutes. Um, welcome, Gunkai Ren. Uh, I think you were a member before, if I'm not mistaken, but if I am, make sure you send me an email, Gunkai, and I will hook you up with some perks, okay? Welcome aboard. All right. Um, so Carissa says, uh, number one, since we already have one in the area and it's easy to talk about. Sure, absolutely. You don't have to think of an idea for this that's brand new. It might already exist, but you thought about it before it did, okay? That's totally fine, all right? Um, so um, let's go with number one, establishing a plastics recycling uh, center in the community, okay. All right, so what's my next step? So I picked out my uh, topic. Again, this is just still happening in the first 20 seconds. I know it seems like we're taking a lot of time, but when you practice this, it happens quickly. You arrive at this decision within the first 20 seconds of your preparation time. So and you still have 40 seconds for two more steps. Okay, so choice is a plastic recycling center for the community. All right, let's do it. Let's go with that one. Yeah, write some notes. And what's important about your notes? So what do you have to pay attention to when you're writing some notes? Okay, when you're taking your notes, when you're making the notes in the next 30 seconds, 35, 40 seconds, what do you have to pay attention to? This is really important, okay, because I see a lot of students making mistakes when they do this, okay? Um, one of the most uh, common uh, situations I see with students when I'm training them or testing them is uh, they write down notes that are not usable. So they write down uh, words that, that are inside their head anyway, like um, there's a lot of plastic on the street, okay? 
I think the student would have said that anyway. There's no point to write down plastic on the street. Um, and then uh, to make it worse, the students don't use their notes. So they talk for two minutes and they never look at the card. They never look at their notes. So I don't understand why they wrote down the notes if they're not using them. It's kind of strange. So um, you need to take notes that are useful. Okay, write down some notes. Make sure they are useful. This means the notes should be specific. Okay, all right, and I can see some of the um, members are already um, saying some ideas or writing down some ideas. Okay, so Roshni says six months before with friends. All right, that's okay. All right, have a great day at work, Carissa. Um, so what else? Give me some more notes. Carissa, you can watch the class later, okay? You can see the rest of the class. It will be up on the channel. Okay, give me some more notes for this. So you want to establish a plastic recycling center in your community. That was your idea. Um, you thought about it six months ago with some friends. Why did you think about it? What do you need for this? How does it change the environment around you? Give me some usable notes for uh, these questions. Okay, nice. So Ferdov says investors. Um, now this is where Ferdov's, if you think about the word investors, obviously you're thinking about money. It needs money, right? So um, you might want to write down something like, $500,000, right? That's a specific usable note. Okay. Again, as soon as you have one idea, members like investors, take it one step further. How much money? Okay. 500,000. Now you have two pieces that you can use to create at least one nice, long, complex sentence. Like initially, uh, my friends and I need to find some investors who can, uh, uh, donate or produce at least $500,000 startup capita to make this project a reality. Okay. All right. Sheng Hung says, uh, ocean video. Okay. Now Sheng Hung, this is a plastic recycling center in your community. So you want to, um, kind of use information that's close to home. Um, plastic, if you have a beach near your house, then that's fine. Okay. So sure. I'll take it one step further. Shang Hung, uh, film on plastic hurting whales. Okay. Just kind of to give you an idea. All right. Uh, Carissa says fundraising you can add that to this one as a last suggestion. All right. Give me some more. Yeah. So Preeti says, because they're eating the plastic, they're dying, the animals. Sure. Okay. Yeah, talk to the government. Very good, Amira. So um, talk to local government. All right. Okay, good. All right, so we're kind of on a roll. Let's say that we're running out of time. Um, we have about 10 seconds left. So we have one more step, step five. And as many of you know, this is to get your first sentence ready, right? Um, write down even. Okay. So you can start as soon as the examiner says your one minute, 
uh, preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. Okay, so you have to be able to start right away when you hear that instruction. All right, so write down your first sentence so you can start as soon as the examiner says your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. Okay, give me your first sentence. Uh, your first sentence, use your paraphrasing and use that topic statement. Okay. So talk about an idea that you have had to protect the environment. Give me a nice full sentence answer or beginning sentence for that statement. And be very direct, okay? It's really important that you're very, very direct. All right. Okay, Roshni says, I had an idea because the plastic's ending up in the landfill. Sure, okay. Uh, Vishal, uh, doing uh, internet research could be some more notes, right? Okay. So Shang Hung says, an idea that comes to mind to save the surroundings is to establish a plastic recycling center in my community. Uh, Shang Hung, not bad, but Shang Hung, do remember that this question is um, past tense, had. Okay. So you, had, you have to use past tense, an idea that I had not so long ago, or uh, present perfect, an idea that I have had, which means you had the idea, but it's active today. So you want to use that um, tense, okay? You want to use the past tense here for sure. Okay, yes, Tan, keep your language natural. Uh, six months ago, we don't use the word before and ago together, Yextan. So six months ago, I thought about opening a recycling center to keep nature clean. Good, Yextan. Good. It's nice and direct. Just careful with your word choice. Okay. Um, Amira says, an interesting idea that came to my mind, not came up, Amira, just came to my mind is to save nature whereby I help to build a plastic recycling center. Uh, Amira, careful with wordiness, okay? So an interesting idea that came to my mind to save nature is to establish a plastic recycling center. Awaz says, not so long ago, comma, about six months ago, comma, I had an idea to establish a recycling center in my community in order to save mother nature. Nice paraphrasing, Awaz. Good job. Ferdov says, an absolutely amazing idea, which I had 10 years ago to save our planet from pollution, is to build a new uh, recycling plant in my neighborhood. Uh, Ferdov's, don't forget important adjectives, a new recycling plant, not just plant, a new recycling plant. Okay. Preeti says, an idea that comes to mind or an idea that came to my mind six months ago was to save um, Mother Nature by establishing a recycling center in my neighborhood. Motherland is a bit awkward, Preeti. Uh, motherland usually refers to our country of birth, okay, where we're born. Uh, Pavan says, my idea is to recycle plastics in order to protect the surroundings, um, which I thought of about six months before. Pavan, nice. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, Vishal says there are plenty of ideas. Vishal, I really want you to stop doing that, okay? Not plenty of ideas. I don't, I don't want to know about the plenty of ideas. I hear so many students, Vishal, especially from India, start their uh, part two by using this exact phrasing. So there are so many ideas too. There are many ways too. And it's like, oh, not another one. Um, so you want to be direct, Vishal. OK. 
Okay. So your first sentence, Vishal, starts with an, almost at the end of your um, chat. So an idea which I had six months ago was to establish a plastic recycling center in my community. That's what I want you to start with, Vishal. Not with there are lots of ideas and plenty of ideas. I know there are, okay? Eight billion people, I'm sure there are lots of ideas to protect nature, okay? You don't need to tell me that, you're wasting time, and I cannot give you band scores for just saying that because probably every second student will start that way, okay? I can't give you a band seven for saying the exact same sentence that a thousand other students that week will say to me, okay? Uh, Gunkai Ren says, uh, a method that comes to mind is to separate rubbish into categories so as to recycle um, garbage thrown in dustbins. Gunkai Ren, uh, I know you came in late, uh, so let's focus more on the specific topic, recycling plastic. Uh, in the community, a recycling plant. Uh, Gunkai, don't use the word stuff, okay? Stuff is a very low-level word in English. The word stuff is a synonym for things. You don't want to use the word things or stuff, all right? Okay, so, um, yeah, certainly, here we go. One super important idea that I have had to protect nature is to establish a plastics recycling center in my community of uh, or in my city of Budapest. Okay, now Budapest does recycle plastics, although I'm a little bit worried in Budapest about the recycling of glass. Everybody's throwing glass into their garbage, uh, which is very strange for me as a Canadian, but we're staying with plastic. We started with plastic, so let's stay with that one. So I replaced community with the more specific word, city of Budapest, okay? Um, and now I'm ready to go. All right. So here we go. Uh, one super important idea that I have had to protect nature is to establish a plastics recycling center in my city of Budapest. I'm using some good paraphrasing, a little bit of some natural language, super important idea. I'm showing some present perfect, right? Because this means that my idea started in the past, okay? My idea continues until now and will likely continue into the future, okay? So present perfect is a really good grammar form here to show that it's an idea born in the past, continuing until now and will continue into the future. When you're talking about ideas, students, the present perfect Grammar form is a great choice because it matches with ideas, okay? Ideas usually start in the past, they stay with us into the present, and we often hold on to them going into the future, right? So use your present perfect. Hope that makes sense. Okay, good. So I've started. Here I am. Now, um, let's continue. I'm talking about an idea. Remember, when you have an idea, you have to describe what it is, where it came from, what you need for it, what are the results. So let's go step by step. Give me the next sentence, okay? What is this idea? So first of all, don't tell me where it came from, but just tell me what it is, okay? So what is a plastics recycling center. What kind of an idea do you have here? Okay, so um, Roshni says, to make this notion into reality, I can make a plant with my friends um, and look for investors. Roshni, you're going too far ahead. We're not there yet, okay? First thing that you want to answer is what is this idea? 
Okay. Now, sure, you said, okay, establish a plastics recycling center, but what does that actually mean? What is a plastics recycling center? Okay, imagine that I'm an alien. You need to describe this for me in a clearer way. Okay, if you said plastics recycling center to a person 200 years ago, they would look at you and go, what? What's plastic? <laughs> um, so uh, you want to describe this. What is a plastic recycling plant? What is that? What do you want to build? Okay. Ferdov says, this idea came to my mind because plastic bags and plastic items were everywhere in my community. Furthermore, the government did nothing to protect uh, Mother Nature. Okay, Ferdov, not bad. And so this would be our next step. But first, let's talk about what you want to do. Okay. Keep it simple. You're probably thinking, well, Adrian, do I have the English to describe what a plastics recycling plant is? Yes, you do. Just think simple. Visualize. How does recycling work? Okay, so Yekstan says it's a... Um, so my idea is to establish so yeah done i'm going to build on yours a little bit and i'm sure some of the other members will be writing some similar information so my idea is to create a system whereby the citizens of budapest can recycle their plastic bags, drink containers, and other plastics okay let me just grab this whole bit here and throw it to the bottom. So you notice where I'm going with this? I'm basically describing uh, plastic recycling, right? Again, remember the goal here is you have to remember that uh, the examiner is like an alien, okay? You have to speak very, very clearly to them and you're talking to your grandpa or grandma, okay? Drink containers and other plastics instead of throwing it into the garbage. Okay. Yeah, so now you're getting into it. Good. Joya says the plastics would be melted and broken down uh, so that they can be reused. Yeah. So... The people in the city can put their plastics into a special bin, which is picked up once a week by a company truck and taken to a plant where the plastic is broken down or melted for future use. Okay, good. All right. So now we're kind of rolling with the punches here. Um, Preeti says a plastic recycling center would collect all of the plastic items from the house and streets so people do not throw the bags on the streets and the center can make them reusable. Very nice, Preeti. In your own words, you're very, very close to what I just wrote, and that's beautiful, okay? Shang Hung says, the building located in the center of downtown, which is uh, easily accessible to residents to collect plastics um, for recycling. Okay, Shang Hung, good, all right, great. So, um, there is an old factory just outside of the city which can be refurbished 
uh, to be the perfect plastics recycling center. Okay, sure. So I'm building off of your idea, Shang Hung. That's excellent, okay? Um, so Ferdov says the idea was to recycle all plastic items. I mean, collect all of the used plastic bags, pop bottles, and plastic objects, heat them up to a thousand degrees Celsius, and then create building materials for homes. For dogs, that's great. Okay, I like it. I like where you're going with that. It's really nice. Amira says, my idea is to have a local center spread the concept of recycling for all of um, the citizens and provide them an easy way to reuse their plastics instead of damping them, dumping. I think you meant to write dumping them, Amira, D-U-M-P-I-N-G. Um, avoid repeating words, Amira, like local. Otherwise, you're on the right track, okay? So, so far, so good. Now, we want to express where this idea came from, okay? So, why did you have this idea? Where did the idea come from? Now, you can write sentences like for Dov's did a few moments ago. So um, why did you have this idea? Okay, and while you think about that, I'm going to read what we have so far. One super important idea that I have had to protect nature is to establish a plastics recycling center in my city of Budapest. My idea is to create a system whereby the citizens of Budapest can recycle their plastic bags, drink containers, and other plastics instead of throwing, the, throwing them into the garbage. The people in the city can put their plastics into a special bin, which is picked up once a week by a company truck and taken to a plant where the plastic is broken down or melted for future use. There's an old factory just outside of the city which can be refurbished to be the perfect plastics recycling center okay so far so good where did my idea come from so Yextan says unfortunately in my city people were creating piles of garbage mostly uh, from plastic therefore I thought about a system in order to tackle this problem. Okay, Yextan, good. You've got a nice flow. I like how you're getting your ideas out quickly. Speed is important. So that's good, Yextan. You're going fast. That's great. Now just work on improving your word choice and your grammar, and you're going to do just fine. Okay? All right. Let's see what some other students are getting out there. Be fast, students. Don't worry about having the perfect response. Focus more on speed as well as coherence. So you want to balance your coherence and your fluency, okay? If you're speaking perfectly but way too slow, it's going to decrease your mark. If you're speaking really fast but you're making a lot of mistakes, it's also going to decrease your mark. So you need to find the balance between accuracy, coherence, and fluency, okay? All right, and students, be specific. So Gunkai, instead of saying some products, name the products, okay? What are those products? All right, so,
Let's see what you have. All right, Shang Hung says, six months ago, I saw a film talk about a whale die on the coastline and its stomach was full of plastic. That's when I had this idea. Very good, Shang Hung. So you remembered to use the notes. I did too later on. Um, and we kind of ended up with a similar type of um, statement. So here is what I wrote. I came up with this idea about half a year ago because I got sick and tired of seeing people throw their plastic garbage into the rubbish and onto the street. Also at that time, I had watched a documentary film about the harmful effects of plastic containers on wildlife, namely the thousands of whales and other sea animals that die from plastic poisoning each year. Okay. Uh, I got sick and tired of, that's a nice natural expression. So try to remember that. Okay. Repeat after me students, because I got sick and tired of seeing, okay. Sick and tired of is followed by some kind of a verb. All right. Okay. Nice. We are doing fantastic. Okay. All right. Uh, Roshni says, in my society, I always uh, saw plastic everywhere, uh, which made me more ambitious to tackle this problem. Here and there is a little bit weird, Roshni, in this context. Awaz says, this idea came to mind because the citizens of Navai throw away many plastic items carelessly everywhere, which is not only uh, harmful and polluting rivers, also it leads to the death of many rare animals such as um, whales and bears and so on. Sure. Okay. Gankai Ren says, my idea was inspired by some news from foreign countries like U.S. and Germany uh, where they're able to recycle their plastic garbage. And I thought to come up with this idea and help implement it in my local community. OK, good. So students, you're doing really fantastic. And um, now what I encourage you to do is to finish this for homework. OK course, make sure to look at the card and notes and then um, record the full answer on your phone and send it as an MP3 to Adrian at aehelp.com. And I will give you a score estimate. Okay, so that's your homework. I look forward to it. Um, you know what to do. We've discussed it. Remember, you're talking about an idea. You need, still need to talk about what you have to do to make it a reality. Uh, what are the results once this idea is implemented? What will happen? So you need about as much more information as what we have until now for all of our viewers you can become a member of our channel by clicking the join button beside the subscribe button and if you want the best ielts help online uh, join our premium packages at aehelp.com for academic and for the general version of the exam check us out at g-i-e-l-t-s help.com the websites, they look like this. This is the general here at gielts-help.com. Click that big red button to join. And uh, this is aehelp.com with the blue background. Click that big red button to join the premium package there. In 30 minutes, I will be back to finish the task two essay that we started yesterday with the students, body paragraphs and the conclusion. I'll see you then. Awaz, you're very, very welcome, Amira. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next class also. You're welcome, Roshni. Good to see you, Shang Hung. Much love to everyone. Bye for now.